I have this vintage Omnibot robot, and it works with this vintage remote that I have. I can get it to move, but there's these two buttons that are supposed to make it make sounds, and they're not working. So let's try to find out why. I have the uh, back of the remote removed, and so far I haven't been able to figure out what would be causing those buttons not to work. So I'm going to have to take this circuit board out and take a better look. I have the circuit board off, and I haven't been able to figure out where the issue might be. I wonder if it's the robot just being low on battery, maybe? Also, take a look at this joystick. This is fascinating. Look how this thing works. So, as you push it forward, it switches the point of contact between those two pads, and if you push it back, it switches it to those two pads. Isn't that neat? So I think I might need to charge the battery, so I'm just checking to see what sort of voltage I need to plug into it to charge it. And that's what I'm going to do. It should be wired up to that little outlet right there. DC 6 volts. Should be fine. Now, I don't have the power supply that came with the robot, but I do have a universal power supply, so that should work. First, we need to find the right barrel plug, and I think this black one should fit. Let's see. Yeah, that seems all right. Okay, now we set this to 6 volts, 6.04, that's fine, and we can plug in the robot, and hopefully we don't see fire. I think we're good. I'm just going to let that charge for a little bit, and then we'll give it a try. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Let's unplug it and see if it beeps. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, well, it looks like I blew the fuse uh, doing something wrong. So uh, we're going to have to go buy a new one now. Yep, blew the fuse. This should do it. Here we got the five amp fuse. Let's put that back in. Oh, I hear him talking. All right. Let's see if we can make him beep. Oh, I'm glad to see your 